Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance and thank you so much for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at your person's current feelings and thoughts towards you. Now, before we get into the power selection, I do just want to quickly mention these beautiful crystal bracelets that I've received from Otter Spirit, who ever so kindly sent these to me a few days ago. So we've got Rainbow Moonstone, Amazonite, and then Rose Quartz. And some of you may have noticed that I wear crystal bracelets quite a lot because I'll go by the energy that I'm feeling that day or if there's a particular chakra that I feel needs some healing or a bit of support, I will choose that bracelet based on that. So I did choose these bracelets specifically based on how I was feeling and what I was needing. I think because it's also a bit of a reminder, every time you look at your bracelet, it reminds you, say you look at your rose quartz, you can remind yourself, you know, I am loved, I love unconditionally, connected to the heart chakra, or I forgive, or, you know, it can remind you to practice self-love. So I was super excited when Otter Spirit did reach out to me for this, because their brand really does align with me personally. And the fact that they donate to ocean and wildlife conservation as well, I thought was also a really nice touch, you know, of how they operate as a family run company. Now they also use AA and AAA grade natural gemstones and crystals. So they are authentic because you know, online sometimes you don't know whether you're going to get the real deal. But you'll know with Otter Spirit that you are getting genuine gemstones and crystals. And their website is actually really lovely. If you go onto it, they've got pretty much every crystal you can imagine, but they also have really nice sections where you can choose based on your zodiac sign. So I truly do recommend Otter Spirit for your crystal needs. Okay, and if you'd like to get some money off, you can use the discount code SOFIA20. Okay, so just pop it in at checkout and you'll get some money off. I will leave the link to the website in the description box below for you. Okay, so now let's get into the pile selection. So all you need to do is choose one of the three images on your screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you need some time. So once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. You'll also find the link to my website. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that's where you'll find all the information. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Hi group one. So let's take a look at your person's most recent thoughts and feelings for you. Okay, what are your person's most recent thoughts and feelings? Okay, so we have clean it up. That gives me strong Virgo energy. So there may have been some kind of argument here that may be weighing on their mind. Message in a bottle. Okay, one more please. Let's see, and the fates. So group number one, your person's most recent thoughts and feelings. Now this clean it up card could either be, as I said, if there's been some kind of disagreement, a misunderstanding between the two of you, they do want to rectify this. They do want to clean up whatever this mess may be. Okay, now it may also be if, for example, you haven't had any disagreements, you know, that you can think of, it may be that they are trying to work on their lives. Okay, if they have other things in their life that seem to be falling apart, or maybe they're working on detoxing in some way in their life. They could be releasing certain addictions. They could be changing their diet or they could even be doing a house clear, an energy clear, even a social media clear out. So whichever resonates, okay, so again, if you haven't had a disagreement, that may be the case of what's really going on for them. And if they've been quiet, this is why. It may even be both, okay, you may have had a misunderstanding and they're also trying to do this kind of declutter, clear out, releasing toxicity here. But here with message in a bottle, I do feel like they are wanting to speak with you. Now, maybe you actually reached out to them to try to rectify something. Okay, but if you haven't reached out to them, I feel like they are thinking about reaching out to you. 
okay. I do feel, even with the telephone here, I'm getting the sense they actually want to speak to you on the phone. They may want to even hear your voice at the moment. But we do have, obviously, message in a bottle. So it may be that they are thinking about sending you a text, a DM, maybe even for some of you, an email. Okay, I know that can be very, uh, what's the word, professional speaking, but, you know, some people do email with each other, especially if it's gone into a toxic place and there's been blockings and things like that. So that may be why. But, yeah, I feel like they do want to clear something up with you. But here with the fates, they do feel like they were fated to meet you in some way, to connect with you. They feel like maybe even your meeting, when you first met each other, it felt fated. Like neither of you really planned this, it just came about. Even if, say for example, you met on online dating, which could seem like it's not fated, but I still believe even if you meet, say on social media or online in some way, it can still be fated because People can be on dating sites for years and not meet somebody. And, you know, some people can be on a dating site for five days and meet the love of their life. So it's all about timing. And I feel like that's something your person is really thinking about at the moment. They're thinking about timing, but also with fated energy, there's a lack of control. Okay, so they may feel like they don't have a lot of control over the situation with you, over their own lives even. I'm really drawn in by the star here though on the side of her face like there's this shining light so and it's almost like yeah the face is like at a bit of a side angle I don't know if recently you've posted a photo where you're kind of looking off to the side and they're looking at that or maybe it's even an old photo or a photo you have together and they keep being drawn to that something about you looking like at an angle almost. And maybe even the sun is kind of beaming down, shining on that part of your face. But yeah, I really feel like it's something connected to a photo here. They keep looking at it. So let's get some more information here. Your person's most recent thoughts and feelings for you, group number one. Okay, we've got Capricorn. So you may resonate with the sign of Capricorn, they may also do. And Mercury, so we've got Gemini, Virgo here. So Mercury messages, and then transits, climate, 55. Okay, so there is something connected to change here. Like they want a change. So how things are between you at the moment, they do want things to move. Excuse me, they want things to move forwards. So yeah, if you're not on speaking terms at the moment, I do feel that they do want to speak, okay? But again, if you have been arguing a lot recently, then they just want peace, okay? They just, they want a transition from where things are now. Now, for some of you, this may be a long distance connection with the transits, okay? There could be a lot of connection to travel in some way, okay, that they're thinking about, okay? Or maybe one of you or both of you are actually traveling for leisure or for work. That could be something that's on their mind. But I'm also seeing, I don't know, I'm really drawn in by the fact that this person is in this fetal position. I feel like your person is maybe struggling right now. I feel like they're trying very hard to power through because with Capricorn, Capricorn is the energy of not giving up. If you think about mountain goats and how they're scaling the mountain, I mean, it looks so treacherous, but they are built for that. Their hooves, their body is built to kind of climb up the mountain in that side way. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen pictures or videos of the way mountain goats scale a mountain, it's incredible. But they are built for that. And so I feel like, yeah, there's that energy of them being built for this strength, this power, this determination to, you know, push forwards in some way. But it feels like mentally they may be struggling somewhat or emotionally, especially with this fetal position here. And I'm seeing almost this focus on like the stomach area which connects to our emotions connects to the sacral chakra and to the heart 
And so I feel like they may even be shutting everybody away at this time. They may be struggling to sort of be out in the open, to socialize, but they may even just want to talk to you in order to get some kind of healing, some kind of clarity here with Mercury messages. Okay, it's like their mind is quite overactive at this time. And this may also be why they're doing a lot of things because people that are struggling don't always appear to be struggling. They can also appear to be the ones that are very ambitious, that are always doing things, that are always on the go, always working or working out or even socializing at different times or using humor as some kind of defense mechanism. But, and it's not to say everybody obviously that's, that's that way is going through things mentally, but I just feel for your person, this is kind of their protective mechanism when they're struggling they start to get really busy because it's almost like they get afraid of their own mind, their thoughts. I feel like they can get intrusive thoughts at times. They may, like I said, struggle with their mental health. You know, there's a lot of overactivity within their brain, okay? And so, yeah, I feel like they may have even shut you away because of everything that they're experiencing. And of course, I'm not saying and I'm not excusing their behavior. If they have taken anything out on you or they've been super cold or pushed you away, I'm not saying that that is right, what they're doing. But it's just what I'm seeing. This may be the reason as to why they are behaving this way. But let's just see what else is coming through in their most recent thoughts and feelings for you, group one. success and growth observe one second let me just observe make sure yeah it's slightly askew hold on a sec let's just see if that is better aligned yes okay hmm. so I do feel like they are watching you at the moment group one they are watching you they're keeping a very close eye so they may be stalking your social media or like i said <clears throat> they're looking at your photos maybe even like a profile picture of yours or like i said photos old photos or photos you sent them or like i said photos on social media i feel like they may even for some of you have <clears throat> a fake account okay they may be stalking you from a fake account so something to just be aware of here. This person is definitely thinking about you. They definitely have their eye on you. But in some way, they feel like things have just not gone their way. They feel like something hasn't worked. They may have wanted to even slow things down here, okay, with success and growth. The Eight of Wands. So I feel like this is them wanting to, yeah, keep things moving very, very slowly. So they may have felt some kind of pressure, whether it's external pressure, whether it's from you or from other people, or whether it's even from themselves, okay? They may have felt um, this internalized pressure to move things further forwards or to move things more quickly, but it seems like they're kind of backpedaling now, okay? That they just wanna take their time. They may just want to observe things from this stood back perspective. They wanna zoom out at the moment rather than zoom in on your connection. And again, it feels like they're kind of distracting themselves, zooming in on other things in their life, other details. But they may also be a little bit nit nitpicky here, okay? They may nitpick like the slightest little thing when it comes to your connection, and this causes them to distance themselves from you. But I feel like there's something much deeper going on with them. I really don't think it's all about you in that respect as to why they are behaving this way. Even though I know this is at their feelings and thoughts about you reading group one, I just feel like there's a lot of external factors coming through here. Like I feel like there's something about their work seems to be very, very important here. Maybe they're struggling to succeed. They may have had a recent setback within their work or within their finances, or maybe even within their health. Something that feels like it's quite physical or quite material in nature. And I feel like this is making them second guess themselves, making them question everything. Because I feel like for your person, when they're doing well, when they're, do when they're successful, they're in a really positive mindset. But when they're not, if things are not going the way that they want, 
they start to spiral. They may even, this just came to me, but they may even be a projector in human design. Um, or even, because you can get the two sides, you've got the personality and the design side. So they may have one side as projector, one side as another particular uh, human design group. But projectors need to feel like they are successful. Okay, that's one of, that's the, what's it called? Um, I can't remember the, the term, but for them to feel like they're on the right path, they need to feel like they're successful. Otherwise, they can end up in bitterness and sadness and depression. Uh, so they may not be a projector, but they may have these projector qualities. They may have these leadership qualities and these innovation qualities where they, you know, like to be in charge. They like other people to kind of be following their lead in some way. You know, they can make excellent managers. OK, and like I said, leaders, CEOs, business um, owners, entrepreneurs. But let's get some more information here. I know I've kind of gone into some other aspects here, but again, I just have to go with what I see here as a reader. Okay, so please let's see as clearly as we can. What are they feeling about you? I might even look over here at feelings and over here at thoughts just to kind of separate it, see if we can get a bit more in depth into it. Okay, so what are their feelings for you? What are their current feelings for you? Their emotional feelings, what are their feelings for you, group one? What are their true feelings for you? Oh, okay, we've got balance there, which is the lover's energy. And then flow. Okay, I'll read into those in a moment for you. Let me just look at what are their thoughts about you? What are their most recent thoughts about you? What are their most recent thoughts about you? joy and stability moving on okay in reverse so in their mind they haven't let go of you if that's something that you're wondering whether they're over you they are not okay because even this is quite an emotional card even though we're looking at their thoughts i feel like they keep reminiscing about the past. They keep going back to the past and thinking about when things were good or when things were going well between the two of you before this rift or separation. Um, if there was one, of course. For some of you, maybe it's even going better than, you know, I've been describing here. I mean, we've got joy and stability, okay, which is very, very positive. Okay, this is like celebration. This can represent a party. It can represent marriage even. So they could be thinking about this, okay, that maybe that you are the one that got away, okay, or that, because I just don't see why they'd be going backwards, but then thinking about this uniting, this being together, this, again, sometimes can be engagement or marriage or some kind of divine union, even going on holiday together, maybe you had a holiday or maybe you even had a holiday planned and they keep ruminating about it. They keep thinking about it. Maybe it was even just a suggestion of going somewhere. OK, but yes, your person keeps thinking about the past here. They're not over the past. They're not. Now, if this is a brand new connection, if this is somebody you've just started dating, it may be that they are still not over an ex. OK, just to be upfront with you that could also be the case. But I feel like you'll be aware of that if you know that they're not over an ex, if they say, even if you've had a first date, if somebody's always talking about their ex on a first date, it can often be a sign that they're not over that person. Not always, but it can be a bit of a red flag there. But so just something to note, but yeah, for a lot of you, I really do feel like this is them not being over you, especially when we look here as well at their feelings for you. Okay, because this balance card, this sh does show a split here. So yeah, it's like in their feelings, they feel like they're still with you. They're still together. But in their, oh sorry, in their thoughts rather, they feel like they're still together or they want to be together. And in their feelings, they feel like you split. Okay, but they feel, I don't know, I'm getting a mirroring here. Very strong mirroring. So how you feel about them is very much how I feel think they feel about you group number one okay because see how these two faces are kind of merged together even when it's in reverse I still feel like they feel a very strong bond to you they still feel very highly connected to you 
but they're in this state of flow at the moment okay it gives me pisces energy or any of the mutable signs sagittarius gemini virgo where they are they're very changeable in their emotions they're very up and down they're not in any kind of neutrality or stability okay there's definitely a lot of maneuvering here so you know how they feel maybe from morning to night may change how they may feel from one day to the next or one week to the next may change but i do feel like even see how here he's clutching onto his heart i do feel they do still feel this emotion for you they still feel it so deeply within their heart they may be trying to flow out of it or flow back to you even it's giving me that kind of retrograde energy of flowing back but i feel like it's quite hard to almost catch up with this person because they're in such this constant state of change and flux here. So your person is definitely very confused, but I do feel like they still want you, okay? They do want to communicate with you. They either do want to clear things up or they want to be able to move forwards in some way here. But just know that they are struggling. They are suffering right now. Okay, let's just get some more energies here. What are your person's thoughts and feelings about you, group one? Guilty. I feel the pain from the damage I have caused. So yeah, if they have hurt you, and you know that they've hurt you, they know that they've hurt you, they do feel pain, they are feeling guilt. Which in one way is nice to see because, you know, there are some people out there that will hurt people without feeling guilty about it. But your person is not one of those, okay? Well, certainly when it comes to your connection, they do feel guilty. They don't feel good about hurting you. Or maybe even they've hurt themselves through this. If they did distance from you or pull away in some form. Like, they feel almost that pain of, why did I do that to myself? Why did I do that to group one? But why did I do that to myself? Group one was so amazing. Group one could have been everything that I wanted and wished for. So, yeah, they are feeling guilty about that. Shadow side, you made me realize my flaws. Okay, so you've had quite a great impact on your person, group one. Okay, where you have helped to uncover those darker sides to them you've made them realize their own flaws where they have screwed up where they've gone wrong so maybe you called out their behavior or maybe you even pulled away and distanced yourself from them because of their behavior so yeah you've definitely left a mark on your person if you were wondering that whether they care whether you have impacted them you definitely have group number one you really have and I feel like they are actually learning a lot of lessons off the back of this. Even if they're not verbalizing that to you at this time. Irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. Wow. Yeah, so they are realizing this. That you, the love that you were giving them, the way that you were being with them is irreplaceable. So maybe they've even tried to date other people after you or even at the same time, hopefully not. But sometimes you need to let people go so they can experiment with other people, so they can see the cold hard truth, so they can learn to appreciate you. And not to say you should take them back if they do that or that, again, it's a right thing to do. But sometimes it's the energy of comparison. Or, you know, when people think the grass is greener and then they go over to the other garden and they realize that it isn't. They look over back to the garden and realize the grass was greener where they watered it. And so I feel like, yeah, they are realizing that your connection was special and unique and that the way that you would love them, I feel like they really did appreciate that. And I feel like they have been struggling to find it elsewhere if they have been seeking it. Or even in the space between you, they are realizing that, yeah, what you could give to them was something much more special than maybe what they've ever received before. Wow. Okay, so let's just get some final messages here. 
their most recent thoughts about you their most recent thoughts about you group number one I'm so attracted to you so there it is they are so attracted to you I feel like they are attracted to you physically but I feel like it does run deeper than that based on everything else that's come through I feel like they are also attracted to you to your soul okay they're attracted to your emotional side they're attracted to maybe even your love language the way that you love is very unique it's very different okay i feel like almost you have this kind of psychic way of knowing exactly what this person really needed okay and yeah it just feels like maybe you've got some strong water in your charts group one where like you can just intrinsically feel what the other person needs and you could feel that from this person like you could understand them say you may have even like finished each other's sentences or you know you'd say something and they're just like whoa like you, why do you understand me more so than other people do so they are really truly attracted to your spirit it's time for me to heal now so that does make a lot of sense with what else has come through here with the pain that they've been going through they are trying to heal they're trying to heal from this connection with you but they're also trying to heal from these other factors that have been bringing them down so again it may be why they have been silent or distant because they feel like they need to go through this this healing this internal healing okay or maybe even healing from as I said, past relationships, again, okay, healing from the disconnection with you. Their most recent thoughts about you, group one. I am not available. So they may have been emotionally unavailable to you, okay? They may still be unavailable. So for some of you, maybe this person is married or in another relationship. That could be the case as to why they're not available. It doesn't mean they don't feel this way about you, but that could be why. Okay, but again, for some of you, it may just be that they've not been available for this connection, but moving forwards, they want to be. Okay, but obviously that's going to be different for all of you as to why this unavailability is coming through. They may even have an avoidant attachment style. Okay. I wish I could take back my words. Okay, so they are having some regret here. Regret about what they've said or perhaps what they didn't say to you. For some of you, I actually feel like as well, you may have some regrets. There's something maybe you've said or done that you wish you could take back. <clears throat> maybe even if you were super nice to them or kind to them, you may have been regretting that. But yeah on your person side of course yeah i do feel it makes sense as well with the guilty that they are regretting their actions or they're regretting their words okay something they've said or done here they wish that they could go back into the past and fix it which again makes sense with you know them feeling drawn back to the past them wanting to yeah clean clean up the mess that they've made and then i want to be more than friends so yeah if you are maybe in a friendship circle with this person or maybe you are just on friendly terms at this moment they wish that they could be more than that they don't want to just be friends with you they want things to run deeper here they truly do this is a tough one this is this is hard and i feel for you group one because I feel like you both really want to be together. You both feel like you are each other's twins. Okay, you feel like you are meant to be together, but it's challenging. But the best way to try and look at it is to be as realistic as you can. As I know that that's hard to think sometimes, but this is the thing. These readings are here to give you insight into what's really going on under the surface. But in order for you to heal and move forwards, it's best to look at things in the most logical way and look at the actions they're taking. Look at the words that they are saying to you because that is the most important thing to go by so that you don't end up in limerence or in obsession over this person you know, or in hopes or in waiting for them because that won't do you any good in the long run 
group one, but it's tough because you can't just switch off your feelings, you can't just switch off your mind, and this person certainly can't either. It's like you're two magnets that are drawn together, but for some reason there are some obstacles in the way. However, I do feel there's a strong chance your person is going to reach out, is going to try and talk to you about this, but it's still, I feel like there's a lot of obstacles to overcome here. Because again, it's a two-way street. It may have even been, you know, too long for you. You may feel like, you know, there's too much water that's gone under the bridge for us to be able to rectify things now. But of course, that is your free will, what you choose to do as and when this person comes in to chat, okay? I know this may have been a bit of a tough reading here, but you guys know that I'm always going to be upfront and honest with what I see. I'm not here to just fluff things up or to say what you want to hear. I'll always say the truth of what I see. And so I really do hope it's helped. I hope it's brought you some clarity today that you didn't have previously. Please do comment below if it did resonate with you. You can even just leave a blue heart emoji if you don't want to say much, but if you just want to let us know that it made sense. And liking the video and subscribing to my channel does also show your energetic support. So I really do appreciate this. So thank you so much in advance for doing so. And if you'd like to book a personalized reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi group two. So let's take a look at your person's current feelings and thoughts towards you. Okay, what are your person's current feelings and thoughts towards you at this time? Let's take a look. And just remember as well that this is how they're feeling and thinking right now. Doesn't mean that this is how they will always think or how they were thinking and feeling. These are the current energies, okay? So what is your person currently thinking and feeling for you, group two? Oh, okay. We've got loyal heart. Okay, and I only read this deck in the upright position, by the way, just for any of you that may question that. There's only a couple of oracle decks I read reversals in. So, and this isn't one of them. <laughs> so let's see, what are your person's most recent thoughts and feelings for you? Then we've got why. And go the distance. One more, please. Between worlds. Okay. So, their most recent thoughts and feelings. It's interesting because we've got this loyal heart, so that sense of loyalty is always naturally going to feel like a positive thing, but then between worlds, so I don't know, it's like there is a part of your person that does feel loyal towards you, but they also feel stuck between two options. So it's a tricky one. For some of you, this may be a third party situation. If it isn't, just disregard, okay? But for some of you that it is a third party, it may be that they are feeling like they have to be loyal to this other person, or maybe they're struggling to, between feeling loyal to you and loyal to another person, okay? But for those of you where it's not a third party situation, it feels like, they do have, like their heart feels loyal to you, but it doesn't mean that the, always their actions are going to be loyal. It's like their emotions feel like you are the one, you are the only one. But yeah, they feel like they don't know what to do right now. They're definitely feeling very confused. They are questioning themselves. They're questioning, they're questioning you. They're questioning the connection at this moment. It's, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one because I also feel like with this go the distance that they do feel like they want to have longevity with you. They would like to be able to see this relationship evolve for it to be something that stands the test of time, for it to truly last in a committed sense. But they may be questioning themselves whether they are able to be as committed and loyal as their heart really feels they want to be which I know may sound disheartening to some of you, but you guys know I'm always going to be upfront and honest. I'm not just going to say anything just to appease you and say, 
yeah, of course this person only wants you and that's that and everything's just sunshine and rainbows because that's not the situation and you probably wouldn't be here if it was as clear as that. And so this is why I feel like it may be a little bit muddled. And the thing is people can feel uh, conflicted about feeling like a sense of loyalty to you but then also wondering whether they truly can be because they may want to be but they may know themselves and know hmm, even though I want to be loyal to group one can I really be do am I capable of this now this may be because they have other responsibilities other things that are weighing them down currently so they may have for example a lot of work responsibilities or a lot of family responsibilities they may have a lot going on at this time that is yeah, weighing them down quite heavily so they may also be restricted in their time at the moment and so they may want to be able to give you everything and want to be able to give their all to this relationship. But if they feel like there are other aspects of their life that are pulling them backwards or pulling them down, this may be a struggle for them, okay? To align those two different conflicting emotions and conflicting thoughts. Because here they are stuck between two worlds, stuck between the darkness, stuck between the light and the darkness rather. Because even in this card, as you can see, this flamingo, it's so bright and colorful and it stands out on one side. And then there's darkness, there are shadows, there are clouds and storms on the other side to the sun, this rainbow. So there's definitely strong Gemini energy get, coming through here, but I'm also getting strong Taurus and Scorpio here too. So your person may have a mixture of those signs, they don't have to. But yeah, I just feel like there's there's a lot of struggle that your person is going through. It's a push-pull. And you may even notice that in their behavior towards you. Okay, especially if they are acting hot and cold with you at times. So let's just see what else is coming through here. How is your person thinking and feeling about you right now? How is your person thinking and feeling about you? progressions journey so there could be a distance could be a long distance connection first house so we've got strong Aries here I'm getting Sagittarius here also okay your person's most recent thoughts and feelings about you and then mid heaven okay so the mid heaven can connect to career so maybe this is also how you know this person it may be how you met or how you connected in some way. But yeah, again, it's like this person does, they are thinking a lot about progression in their life. They want to progress in their career. They may even want to relocate. Maybe they're looking to buy a home or they're looking to uh, move away somewhere. Even maybe move closer to be near you. This might be something that they're deeply contemplating at this time. But then that could also be the push pull because, say, for example, it is long distance. They may be having, maybe they've got a flourishing career where they are. And if they were to move, that would disrupt things. But then their heart wants to be with you. Okay, for some of you, again, if it's third party, it may be that they have a home with somebody else. They live with somebody else. They've got their finances connected and intertwined with someone else. So there could be that, you know, feeling that they want to be near you, but they also feel entangled in this other connection financially. But your person is very determined, I feel like. I feel like they are very ambitious. They have a lot of goals that they want to achieve in this lifetime. And it's like there's a juggling act going on here. They're trying to juggle everything and it feels like everything's just kind of getting on top of them. And there's a part of them here that does want to progress your relationship. So wherever it stands at this moment, I don't feel like they're happy with it. I feel like they do want movement. I feel like they do want some sort of positive change. But again, there's a part of them that isn't quite sure whether they are gonna be able to give that, whether they're gonna have the energy to do that. Now the first house is the energy of Aries, okay? It's the impression we make, it's the physical body, it's the head. So your person may be somebody that's into physical exercise, they may like to run or sprint, go to the gym or yeah, do some other kind of sport, sporting activity. Yeah, that's something that I'm getting quite strongly here. So 
it might be that they're also trying to work on these uh, their own personal goals in in a in a physical exercise way in a health context but it also feels like there is this part of them that at times can be a little bit selfish okay like they put their own needs and desires and wants first and so they may not always be considering your feelings even though they may feel this strong loyalty towards you they may still have this strong love loving feelings towards you it's like they feel like they need to focus on themselves so they may be in a place where they're a little bit more self-absorbed you i get the sense that you're a bit more uh, what's the word selfless Okay, like you would be willing to sacrifice, you would be willing to compromise for this person. You would be willing to, whether it means moving or letting another connection go or making positive changes so that you two can be together. And it's not to say your person doesn't want to do those things, but the difference between obviously wanting and doing are quite different because we can always want to do something, but it's all about the action. Are we willing to take action? Are they willing to actually act? on their desires to really be with you and to make those sacrifices or compromises that it takes in order to be with you. Awaiting results. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is look at more so their feelings over here on this side and their thoughts over here on this side, okay? So what are their current feelings for you? What are their current feelings for you, group number two? What are their current feelings for you? Solar plexus. Clarity of belief. Okay, what are their current thoughts about you? Take the lead. Blossom. Daydreams and decisions. Okay. Hmm. I do feel your person fantasizes a lot about you. I feel like they're very good at being able to envision a life with you, to picture how things could be in the 3D okay i feel like they have a very <clears throat> strong vision about themselves like they're able to picture what they want in their lives and i do feel like they picture you being in their long-term future they can see that but then there's something here where they feel like their dreams have kind of come crashing down here so it may be something that's happened between the two of you whether you've had a conversation or something else external has transpired in their life that's made them feel like it's not possible okay because even over here when it comes to their feelings it feels like they're quite cut off like they may have cut you off or they may be repressing their emotions okay i feel like this person can be quite stoic so they may be very good at showing a very calm facade, like not giving away what they're really feeling on the inside. You know, they have a bit of a poker face going on here. So you may be very confused or unaware about how your person really feels about you. And it's almost quite hard to sort of dig into what they feel. But this person, your person, I feel like they're going through maybe even a bit of an identity crisis. Like they're not feeling very strong. I feel like they're trying really, really hard. Like they feel like they want to try. They want to put in the work. They want to give this a real go with you. But it's like their mind, I feel like, is telling them no at times. Like they fantasize about it, but then it's like they talk themselves out of it is what I'm sensing. They're like, I want this with group two, but no, how can it work? Like logistically, it can't work or logically. So I feel like they are quite a logic driven person. Okay, even though they can be quite a visionary, they can go into their fantasies at times. And I feel like that's their place of escapism. Okay, where they go into the fantasy, they think about, you know, the type of life that you could have together, the type of life you could create together. So they do think about that a lot. They do. But here, I mean, take the lead in reverse. It's almost like they're waiting for you to kind of push things forwards to take the lead. Or, you know, in that sense, they may be a little bit lazy, even though I don't feel like they are as a person. It might be driven by fear, okay? That like, they don't feel like they can be the one to take the lead. So maybe if they feel like they've already pushed 
things forwards, if they feel like they've already tried, they may feel like, okay, I'm gonna wait for group two to try and push this forwards now. So it could be a bit of a cowardly energy when it comes to your connection. But if you feel like, you know what, no, I was the last one to message or I was the last one to, you know, to keep trying to push it forwards and nothing really happened. But it may be your person is a bit deluded about that. Okay. They may be seeing that the way things, the way that they want to see them rather than the way things really are. But I do get the sense they see you as somebody that. I don't know, like you're coming across as somebody very, very attractive to them. I feel like they're definitely attracted in a physical way. They see you as very beautiful. We've got Venus energy here. So either very beautiful or very handsome, very conventionally attractive in some way. Okay, they feel like you're somebody that, like whatever you touch turns to gold. Like you are somebody that's super talented. Like you have a lot of positivity surrounding you. Like you are a light to them. Even if you go through dark times yourself, it's like you're able to inspire them or you're able to inspire others in some way. And I feel like, yeah, they, they are really inspired by you and they could see, I don't know, like you could be really great to be in a partnership with and that you would be willing to put in the work. But again, it's like there's that realistic part of them that's like, but am I willing to do it? Am I going to be able to give everything that I need? Am I even good enough? I feel like they may even be questioning that at times, group two. Am I really good enough? Am I worthy of my group two? So yeah, your de person definitely has some inner confidence issues that they truly need to work on if they were to come together. So it may also be as well, if they are trying to reach certain heights in their career, they may feel like, you know what, I need to wait until I've reached this milestone, until I've you know reached a level of promotion or until I've reached a certain level in my own business or maybe even in terms of their financials. So it may be that you know they feel like they need to reach a certain place or maybe again in their fitness goals, they feel like they need to be at a certain level before they can meet you in the middle. So it may be as well like they're trying to yeah, focus on making themselves the best version of themselves before they try to work on things with you at this very moment. Okay. Let's see what else is coming through here. Your person's most recent thoughts and feelings about you, group two. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Yeah, that there it is. That makes so much sense with what else has come through here. They have, they do feel like they've sabotaged the connection. They know that they have. They know that they've done things to screw this up here. And I feel like it's reminding them of them doing this in the past that when they screwed up before, okay? They feel like they have sabotaged their own level of success. They've sabotaged their relationships. Like whenever something almost gets too good or they get too close, they wanna run away, okay? They may be quite avoidant in their attachment style. But yeah, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like they are beating themselves up quite a lot here about either how they've treated you, things they may have said, or yeah, the actions or the inactions that they've taken towards this connection. Okay, so at least they are recognizing that they have sabotaged it in some way. Dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. <clears throat> so yeah, they, they have been dishonest in some way. Maybe you know what they've been dishonest about. Maybe you don't know specifically what they've been dishonest about. Now, it may not be that they've outwardly lied as such, but they may have withheld the truth from you. They may have, you know, made up something, you know, said that they weren't ready or whatever the reason may be. But I feel like the deeper issues are what has been discussed here. Okay, again, it's that self-sabotage. It's that low self-esteem. It's them feeling like they're not really worthy or good enough yet. And so, yeah, they feel like them not being honest with you, because maybe as well, if they had told you this, if they had told you that they don't feel good enough, you may have been able to help them or you know, say, look, I don't know what you're talking about. You're more than good enough. And I'm also willing to be here for you on the climb up. But it's like they've just pushed you away. It's really sad. New chapter. I am trying to move on. Okay, and then 
inseparable our love is always there despite the distance so yeah even though there is distance at the moment so again whether it's physical distance whether it's communication distance they feel it okay and again it's this is interesting it's right over the loyal heart card they do feel like your love is very bonded it is inseparable like they feel that strong magnetizing energy towards you regardless of what is going on here so it's not that they're over you but there is this part of them that wants to try to move forwards here i do feel like they want to move on either away from you or towards you okay so i'm gonna get clarity on that though because i appreciate that may sound a little confusing so i want to see whether they want to actually move on from you or whether they want to move back towards you okay and just be prepared i'm going to be very honest i'm going to be very blunt with what comes through okay do they want to move back towards you do they want to come towards you yes or no do they want to come towards you in this new chapter do they want to come towards you in this new chapter okay page of pentacles do they want to come towards you in this new chapter queen of wands and wow temperance so yeah i do feel they do want to come towards you so i'm quite pleased to see that for you I know you may have felt a little bit on tender hooks there waiting but you know this page of pentacles i mean again this is how i feel like they see you they see you as this queen of wands as this temperance and they see themselves as this page okay they see themselves maybe they're younger than you or they may just be less mature or they may see themselves as less successful than you or less confident less secure like they see you as somebody very fiery, somebody that knows themselves, somebody that also is peaceful, somebody that knows moderation. Maybe they've got their own issues with addictions or control, okay? And they see you as the antithesis of this. They see you as somebody very much in control, so strong, so capable. And it's like they want a part of that. And see how he's smiling here as well? I feel like you do really make them smile you do i feel like again like i said you are this beaming light to them i also feel like there's something about you teaching them a lot okay so whether this is intentional on your part or not i do feel like they've learned a lot of lessons from you and again that makes sense because they do feel inspired by you so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if this person actually reaches out to you sends you a message maybe even sends you a gift okay page of pentacles could be quite practical so they may it may even be gifts to show i care as a love language of theirs so that may be the way that they try to move things along with you is by giving you a gift or maybe even they might start a conversation about work okay or something quite practical in nature or maybe fitness or maybe if there's an area of expertise that you have they may ask for your advice about something specific leading to that yeah as a way to kind of get back in so yeah i do feel like they they want to come back they intend to come back to you so maybe all of this self-sabotage this lying this deceit that's come through they're finally starting to see it now they're starting to understand it now and now they want to actually return they want to try again they want a new chapter with you it may take them some time i might just get a time frame for you actually before i get those message cards how long will it be until they actually try to return here because again i see this energy of them that, like i said in the beginning they're a bit flip floppy they don't know when or how to take action but let's just see how long will it be until they come back towards you group two okay so we have oh number one we've got leo and we've got neptune so yeah i don't feel like it's going to be too far away Obviously, we've got one, which is the smallest number. We've got Leo, which is fiery energy, which is one of the fastest moving of all of the elements. Fire is very quick. Think about how fast fire spreads. So yeah, I do feel it could be one day. It could be one hour. Could even be a month. I don't feel like it's quite as long as a year from now, but timing, of course, is going to be uh, fluid and changeable for all of you the time frame will always be different could even be the first of the month first of the next month that you're watching this could even be 1 p.m or 1 a.m this could be the time of day that they get in contact with you especially yeah i feel like more so 1 p.m for a lot of you because it's like 
the sun is ruling Leo and the sun obviously being up at the highest point in the sky, which makes me think of that mid heaven too. It's like the, the top point of the chart here. So yeah, it may even be that you bump into them in the middle of the day or when the sun is shining. Now we've also got Neptune here. Now Neptune is a bit more fluid. Le Neptune can be a, a bit confusing. Hmm, so it may be that you don't see it coming, even though of course you have this reading as a forewarning now, but you may be distracted, you may be doing something else, you may be, maybe you're watching a movie, doing some Neptunian things, listening to music, doing some artwork or something creative, and that's when they kind of feel drawn back into you because they sense your level of detachment. Okay, so let's just get some message cards here as well your person's thoughts and feelings about you group two i am not available okay i mean i feel like that's where they have been and i feel like it is currently where they are at this very moment but again i feel, feel like they're still going to come back in even if they don't feel like they're totally available i still feel like they're going to want to initiate something with you so it may be as well that they just want to stick their foot back in the door just to see, testing the waters with you. I don't react when people mention you. Okay. So yeah, if people do ever mention your name to them, I feel like, like I was saying about them being very stoic, they're very cool, calm and collected. Like they will appear like, oh, I don't care about group two. I mean, I don't think they will say that outwardly, but they'll just like act as if nothing's happened or nothing's been said, especially if you have mutual friends and your name comes up in some way, though they won't react, okay? Or even if they see something of yours on social media, so they may not engage with your social media, but they will see it, okay? So something about them not reacting. Again, it's all about saving face. A lot of this is about ego for your person as well. They have a lot of pride. It's time for me to heal now. So yeah. These message cards are quite similar to group one's reading actually but yeah they are going through a lot of healing at this time and this may be as well why they needed some space they needed to uh, heal certain aspects of themselves or wait for certain things within your connection to heal first i left when i saw you with someone okay so they may think that you have moved on now, it doesn't mean that you have, but they may just suspect that you are either dating somebody else or that you're into somebody else. And so that may have caused them, again, in their ego, their ego may have been bruised by this. So it may have just been something you projected outwardly and they felt insecure about it. Again, it could be the truth. Of course, you'll know whether it's the truth or not, but don't worry if it's not the truth. It's just this is your person's insecurities coming out here. Okay, one more card, please. What are their most recent thoughts and feelings about you? Whoa, I love you. Wow. I mean, I'm not surprised to see that, especially with the first card that came out was Loyal Heart. So yeah, they do have deep loving feelings for you. I mean, that is clear. But again, it could be a bit of a selfish love, just to be cautious because some people can think that they truly love someone, but real, true, unconditional love is selfless. And so just something for you to think about in that way. But coming from them, they do feel that they love you still. Okay, it's very deep. They do feel that bond. They do feel that strong connection to you still, group two. So I really do hope that this resonates with you. If it does, please comment a red heart emoji or anything else you wish to share. And liking the video and subscribing to my channel does show your energetic support. So thank you so much in advance. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group three. So let's take a look at your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. And just remember that these are their current thoughts and feelings now. Doesn't mean that this is how they did feel or how they will feel, okay? We're looking at the current energies, okay? So how is your person currently thinking and feeling about you now? Ooh, happy, happy, okay. That's a really lovely positive card to begin with. 
No place like home. Ooh. All that glitters. And then why? Okay. So group number three, I mean, <laughs> it's really lovely to see this happy, happy card. I mean, I see them smiling. So maybe something has changed in your connection, especially if there was silence or I don't know, maybe there were unhappy times in some way, but then now they feel super happy. Or maybe this is somebody brand new that you've just started dating. Okay. So uh, whether it's somebody that you've known for a while or it's somebody new, I feel like this is very positive energy coming through here. They are feeling elated about you, okay? It gives me like honeymoon phase, so it could be that you are in the honeymoon phase at this moment, or they're in the honeymoon phase where they're, you know, not really seeing your flaws or perceived flaws at least, because even this all that glitters, this gives me kind of like rose-tinted glasses energy, okay? Because it's like, you know, they're looking at all of the good things, they're thinking about all of the wonderful qualities that you have, which I know you have in Abundance Group 3, but they, yeah, they may not be looking at things that realistically. They could be a little bit delulu about you right now, okay? But I feel like there's something very comforting here that they feel for you. Like, they feel like you are like home to them. Okay, like you are their safe space. So yeah, again, whether it's a new connection or not, they feel something that, yeah, it's very familiar. So maybe you remind them of somebody, you could remind them of an ex, that you could remind them of, you know, a family member, a friend. Uh, could even be somebody you've met previously. Maybe you went to school together or you work together or maybe even you've connected through your homes in some way. Somebody could work at the other's home. Um, somebody could work from home. Maybe you've actually spent time recently in each other's homes and that's something that they're sort of reminiscing about. Uh, they may even be thinking about living with you. Again, again, it depends on the stage that you're at, but again, this person, like I said, may be a bit Delulu, even if you've kind of just met or gone on a few dates, they may be thinking, oh, I could see myself living with my group three, okay? So yeah, it's really lovely to see actually, because a lot of the time, sometimes these readings can be quite painful, um, especially as you know, people that feel drawn to these readings oftentimes are feeling confused, obviously. That's why these we, we create these readings is to help bring you some clarity on your confusing situations. Um, but it's not always going to be doom and gloom. No, no, it's just the beginning though, so we're going to get more cards. Hopefully it'll remain in this very positive direction, but you know, I don't want to speak too, too soon here. Okay, now they are a little confused, I will say, because we've got the card of why, and obviously you only ask why if you're confused about the answer, aren't you? So let's just take a little look. Why are they whying, okay? <laughs> why are they confused? And you know, what are they really thinking and feeling for you at this time, group three? What are they really thinking and feeling about you? <gasps> Juno, partnership, okay. So we have the marriage asteroid here. Okay, this is really, really lovely to see. Oh, and then Mercury messages. And then transits, climate. We've got a couple of fives coming through here. So maybe things have gone through a bit of a change between the two of you recently. So yeah, there may have been a shift in your connection. So again, maybe, yeah, if this is somebody you used to date or if things weren't going well, it may be that it shifted into a more positive direction. Or again, maybe this is their own love life. Again, if it's somebody you just started dating, for example, it may be that you, like they're seeing that, okay, now my love life is changing. I finally met somebody I'm on the same page with, somebody that I could actually see myself marrying or being with for the long term. You definitely seem to fit a lot of the traits, characteristics that they would see their long-term partner to have, okay? Now, with the Mercury card, the mind, in this particular reading, it's interesting because I actually had this one come out in one of the other groups, but Again, each pile is always going to be very different energies. But in this reading, I really feel like, you know, their mind is, is very overactive. They are thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot about you. Um, and I feel like they're thinking very much about maybe certain things that you've said, or they might even be constructing messages 
to send to you. They may be putting them, like writing them down in their notes app first before they send them. So that could be something that's coming through here. Hmm. But I do feel like there's movement here. They want movement or they are thinking about there being movement. So yeah, if your connection is moving, if you are dating, if you are actively speaking all the time or seeing each other, you know, I feel like they're thinking very happy thoughts about this. However, if you're not quite at that position yet, they're thinking about that. They would like things to progress. They would like things to move forwards between the two of you. It's really, really lovely to see, okay? I almost feel like they're seeing you as a dream come true. So again, I would just be a little cautious. Okay, of course, you know, embrace the joyous times when things are going well, but yeah, just be a tiny little bit cautious because like I said, this person doesn't always see things in the most realistic way. Um, and I think it's key to have a balance, isn't it? To, you know, to be able to fantasize a little bit, to enjoy the honeymoon phase, to enjoy the good times, to embrace those good times, but to also think logically, to see things in a logical way as well. Um, in order for things to be healthy, I mean, okay? Um, so yeah, we're gonna look at their feelings over on this side specifically and their thoughts over here on this side. So what are they currently feeling for you? What are they currently feeling for you, group three? What are they currently feeling? Okay, so we've got the release and detach, both reversed, interesting. And then joy and stability reversed, okay. So what are their thoughts about you? What are their most recent thoughts about you, group three? What are their most recent thoughts about you? Okay, just breathe. Solar plexus. Picking up some Leo energy there, but we've also got Gemini Virgo, Libra, Cancer. Ooh, okay, change your focus. So it's interesting on a deeper level, we've definitely got more um, conflicting energies coming through here. Because obviously on the surface, everything seems great. They seem to be very happy. They might be somebody that's very good at appearing to be happy, or maybe they use humor as a defense mechanism for you know inner turmoil that they're going through. Because I would say here, they are a little bit sad and quite stressed. They're, yeah, they're feeling stressed about the connection in some way. So they either may see that you're not on the same page as them. So they may be feeling all of these wonderful positive feelings, but they may feel like, yeah, you don't like them as much as they like you. Or that I feel there's something about if you were to know the real them, they're worried about you discovering the real them. Like they think because they put on this very happy front, because they may be naturally very funny or charismatic, that they think that you are into that version of them, but that you won't actually like the other side to them that has issues, that sometimes gets sad, that sometimes gets stressed out, that sometimes gets anxious and doesn't always feel that confident. So that's an interesting caveat here, isn't it? Okay. Because I do feel your person has a lot of hidden depth here. We've got Scorpio energy as well. And I'm getting a bit of Aquarius now too with this detach. So yeah, I feel like there is, there's something that they haven't fully released yet. There's some sort of pattern in their life, something that, you know, is quite dark, I would say. They've got, yeah, this darker, deeper side, this secretive side. And I, I don't feel like it's like they're doing anything intentionally, but again, especially if it's, it's kind of a new connection, they, oh, one second, I've just got an alarm going off. I feel like that could actually be quite poignant, actually. Alarm bells going off. So yeah, they may be, I don't know, maybe they're thinking that you will see them as a bit of a red flag, or maybe there have been some red flags that come up here. I don't know. It could be that you have shown them some red flags, but I really feel like it's the other way around here. Okay, that they are worried that maybe they've shown you some kind of red flag or that, yeah, that something about you, you seeing, or they're worried about you seeing the real them. That keeps coming out here. They're worried that if they don't always act happy and positive, that you won't respect them. That's the word that just came out. So yeah, I feel like respect is a big thing for your person. I feel like 
they like to show this very confident, positive front, but that's not always how they feel. And of course that's not natural or that's not life. Even the most confident people, and a lot of the time it's the funniest people that are using it as some sort of defense mechanism. For, you know, it's covering their pain in some way. Obviously not all funny people are doing that, of course, but a lot of funny people, a lot of comedians have spoken out about this. And so, yeah, I feel like there is this part of them that worries when you, when or if you see the real them or if they reveal something to you or if maybe they even have attachment issues. They may have an anxious attachment style. They may get really, really super invested. I feel like they are very invested in this connection, like super, super invested. And they're worried about this, that if they don't detach, that they may lose you. Okay, so they may even have some obsessive or addictive qualities, okay, where they can, yeah, maybe this is something that's happened to them in the past and maybe that drove certain people away because they were too intense or certain people found them to be too much. And so they're trying their best to appear very um, nonchalant, okay, but this person is chalant below the surface, okay, they are somebody that again, is, is very deep. They do attach quite quickly. And I think that that's also because it, in part this sort of Delulu energy because they, they have very high expectations and they future think a lot. They future think, you know, about what could happen between the two of you way before things have actually gotten to that level. And so they can end up getting themselves quite disappointed and upset if things don't go that way. And so, but I feel like it's something they are actively trying to work on. Like they haven't fully figured it out yet, but they're trying. I feel like they know what their inner demons are. And which is great because not everybody does. Not everybody has that level of self-awareness. And I feel like they're getting to that point where they are realizing that those are qualities that can be a bit of a turn off and may be turning off to you. So yeah, they are really trying to work on it. But then the thing is, what can happen here is like the pendulum swings, right? They may be trying so hard to appear nonchalant or to, and to act like they don't care or that they're really cool that they could actually be become very cold. You know, so say they're all the way over here with the pendulum. They swung, the, you know, this is how they really feel. They're super into you. They think about you all the time. They're even obsessed with you. But then, okay, so they think, oh, okay, so I need to act the opposite way. I need to act like I don't care, like I'm not interested, and that I'm super cold and like non-committal. So that could then leave you feeling confused about where you stand with them, for example, rather than them coming to a bit of a neutral place and saying, you know, I don't need to be super obsessed, uh, but I also don't need to be super cold. I just need to show an honest level of interest, okay, and taking action in that way. So... Yeah, very interesting group, I would say. Not something that usually comes out, but that's why I love doing this. I love my job because, yeah, I love it when things shake up a little bit, when there, is, there are changes here um, than what is usual. But, I mean, ultimately, I hope it's making sense for you. If it is making any sense whatsoever, please do comment a green emoji, any of your choice, or you know, anything else you wish to say. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So let's just get some more messages here. Your person's most recent thoughts and feelings about you, group three. Okay, so we've got hope. I haven't given up on us yet. So yeah, they haven't given up hope. They still hope that you two can really be together no matter where things currently stand. They are truly hoping for something to begin with you or for things to move forward. And so maybe even that you two could end up together, living together, getting married, maybe even having a family one day. Uh, for some of you, they could actually be divorced or they may have recently gone through a split. That also just came through to me um, that they're still trying to work through. Um, understanding, I see your side of the story. So yeah, again, a level of awareness your person has. They're definitely somebody that soul searches. And I feel like it's because of a lot of the pain that they've gone through that causes them to do that. Because again, this is what I feel like helps them to evolve. It's self-awareness that helps us to evolve. But sometimes we need to hit that rock bottom place and that causes us to self-reflect. So I do feel like they are able to, to understand and see where you are coming from. 
it's interesting that there's a child here as well. I don't know if there's somebody that's, you know, one of you are much younger than the other one or much less mature, or one of you might have a child, might be a single parent. You may even have a child together with this person. I don't know. Ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So yeah, again, I feel like that's, that's their sense of ego that that has come through here their ego is what caused maybe either some sort of rift or a separation or again maybe for you to not really see the real them because they weren't showing you that they were showing you everything surface level they were showing you all the good they weren't showing you what was really going on beneath the surface so there may have been a little bit of sabotage there and then we've got mend i want to mend I want to fix our connection. So there it is. They do want to fix your connection. They're not done here. If that's something you're wondering, group three, they're not done. Okay. They want to come back. They want to fix things. But again, it's beautiful because they know that they need to work on themselves. So they are doing a lot of self-work and self-growth and transformation in order for this to really work. I'm just going to get a time frame for you on this as to when they're going to like try or when you two will be able to mend this if this is of course what you want that was leo by the way that just jumped out which makes sense you've had a lot of that energy coming through so let's see when will you two come back together again with your consent obviously if it's something you definitely want because of course some of you might just be interested or you know intrigued to see where they are you may not want this person back or you may not want to move forwards with this person it depends where you are but let's see, if you do want this and you both want to come back together, how long will it take? Okay, so we've got Gemini, we've got two and we've got Uranus. So yeah, I don't feel like it will be too long. I mean, we've got almost two twos here. Okay, so could be two months, could be two weeks, could be two days. I don't feel like it's quite as quick as two days. Air is a little bit, it's not as quick as fire, but it's definitely not as slow as earth. So I don't feel like it's two years. Um, so at most I would say two months. It depends when you're watching this as well. Obviously it's a timeless reading. Um, so you could be watching this around Gemini season. So if you are watching this around Gemini season, it could be like the 2nd of June. It could be 2nd of June for some of you. Um, but we've also got Uranus there, which is Aquarius energy. So also could be around 2nd of February. Um, but this will be unexpected. Okay, there's something shocking and there's upheaval with Uranus. Like it's not, um, it's not something that would, I feel like you would expect them to say. So they may say something that kind of seems like it's out of the blue. You might be like, huh? But it's like this kind of Jekyll and Hyde energy. Again, it's like what they show above and then what is below. So they may even reveal to you what's really been going on or what's been eating them up inside. So maybe you're not expecting that level of vulnerability from them. But with Gemini, Gemini energy tends to want to keep it a bit more light, wants to multitask, wants to keep the conversation moving into different subjects. So it may be as well like they say something just to kind of get a reaction from you and then they try to maneuver the conversation forwards. I really, by the way, it just keeps, I can't stop looking at this engagement ring here. It really is standing out to me. So for some of you, you really could end up engaged to this person one day. Okay. Again, that won't be for everybody, of course. For some of you, I feel like, yeah, that could be the case. Okay. Well, certainly that's something that I feel like they've been thinking about here, thinking about getting engaged, thinking about a ring, whether it's a ring that they would buy you or a ring that you would buy them. I don't know. It's, they keep, I keep seeing a ring there. It's like, I can't stop looking at it. I need to stop. I need to focus. Let me pull some final message cards for you. What are their most recent thoughts and feelings about you, group three? What are their most recent thoughts and feelings about you? I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, so this could be the truth, okay? If they did see you with another person, um, whether, you, whether it was another date or another person you were dating, you know, that, that might have caused them to leave if you know that's the case. If you know that's not the case, though, it may be just some paranoia on their side. They may have thought you were dating somebody when you weren't. Okay, so either way, they kind of may be making things up to fit their own sort of paranoid narrative at times. Okay, or it may be something that they just assumed as well. Like they thought their group three is going to leave me in the end. They'll leave me for somebody else. So maybe that's actually happened to them before where some they've been left for someone or so, rather someone's left them for someone else so that might be 
like this projected fear that they've been putting onto your connection. What are their most recent thoughts and feelings about you? Oh my God, I hid who I really am from you. There it is. They have been hiding who they really are. They have not been upfront with who they really are on a deeper level. They are afraid. But the thing is, I feel like they're missing a trick here because I feel like you as a person group three will actually be more intrigued if you knew that they had these different levels to them or if they were to open up and be vulnerable, that would actually create more closeness between the two of you. But yeah, they have been hiding who they are because of their ego. But maybe, oh, drop them all. It may be because they've been shamed for who they really are. Maybe other people have, you know, said that they weren't good enough or said that they were strange or weird or sort of any of those derogatory terms that make them feel like, you know, they don't fit in in some way or that you wouldn't love the real them. Okay, it's quite sad, really, because I feel like this person is very unique, very special. I mean, we're all special. We're all unique individuals. Um, but yeah, I feel like they've really been, they've had to feel like they've had to play down who they really are in order to fit in. And so they've hid who they really are. And then we've got, I know I messed up everything. Oh, these two were stuck together. And then I want you. So yeah, they know they've messed up and they want you. So they still want you, group three. I mean, that's not surprising with everything else that's come through, but that's just a, a card of clarity though they definitely still want you they're still very much interested again for some of you they're still quite obsessed with you they still want this but they know that they've screwed up they know that they've said or done something to sabotage this connection so that makes sense with the mend they do want to mend the connection so yeah as I said, I do feel they're gonna to try to come back in. They're gonna to try to work on things. They are trying to work on themselves. But yeah, you may want to make them feel in some way comfortable that they can be open with you, okay? If you haven't done so already, because I do feel like you probably have been that way, group three. You have been you know, very comforting to them in many ways, especially with that home card that came out initially. But just moving forwards, it's just a piece of advice, I would say, because this person is very afraid. They're almost like I'm seeing like a snail that kind of withdraws into its shell and then it sort of peeks its head out. If, is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe to be vulnerable? Is it safe to be myself? And then, you know, they might perceive things that you say as criticism and then they sort of pop back into their shell. So, yeah, you have to be very mindful, I would say, um, it's a little bit like walking on eggshells, which you may not want to do with this person, which I appreciate. So obviously that's again, your choice, how you choose to maneuver this forwards as and when, but this is what I really see for you. And I truly do hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates and has brought you the clarity that you needed today, group three. And if it has done, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, which will show your energetic support. So thank you so much in advance. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.